how are you going? Today I woke up and decided that I want to do a video because I'm just, I just feel like talking. I've been doing a little bit different videos lately, but I really wanted to just come in and edit and talk because I had so many thoughts going through my mind and also I wanted to share a little bit of what I've been up to apart from what I upload and stuff. I went mushroom picking the other day with my partner, which was really fun. We were going through these water things, the dams, stepping on plants to not sink in, which was pretty funny, and picking um, leeches out of our clothes, and that's always fun. And everything looked very magical, and it was a beautiful time. And yesterday we also went to Murloc's gig, which was so amazing because We were like walked in. It was in the Brunswick Ballroom, which is the venue, kind of like a theater kind of vibe. And then we came in earlier to see the supporting band and there were chairs, there was chairs. And I was like, oh, that's a turn off. I was like ready to dance and, you know, have a good time. I was like, now we're gonna have to sit. Yeah, that's like awful. And yeah, we sat down and watched the supporting band, which was great. And then watched Murlocs and it was so amazing. It was actually insane. They presented their new album. Ambrose was wearing this like red suit and had red lipstick on, red cheeks, and it looked so amazing. It's so nice to see him just like dance and do his thing while everyone is just watching him because I feel like a lot of times when it's a gig, you come to enjoy and dance together and sing and you don't really take like you don't really look at the stage that much or like don't put attention to it because you are thinking of what you are doing not necessarily but it's different yeah i feel like he's with all the attention that he can get he's amazing and his dance moves are so sick Just such a beautiful night. Very good choice of seated gig. I did not expect that. It was way better than any of the other gigs that I attended. That's that. And this is Gracie. She's laying on bed and she's having a good time. She's my housemate's dog. When I'm alone at home, she comes to my room and sleeps all day. She's a lazy greyhound. Yeah, she doesn't care, really. I'm just feeling really good and I really wanted to talk and edit and whatnot. I might have some ideas, which is groundbreaking because I usually never have any ideas. I mean, I usually have ideas, but I just don't have a vision. But I have a vision today. I should be editing my work things, but I feel like talking and I can't like focus. So I was like, might as well just record things. Um, my hair is doing something. I don't know what it's doing, but it's different every day. And I want to incorporate today Illustrator. I don't usually use it, but I thought I might because I have a an idea on what I want to do. So dress hold like this and then finder. I got a comment that I should not gatekeep my textures. Very fair. Some people probably spend a lot of time to scan those textures, so I might as well just give credit to them. I don't remember where I got all my textures because it actually been heaps of time of collecting them. Once in a while I go on my Google and I write textures, you know, textures for free, high quality textures and stuff like that to, to see what's new on internet. And I press it one and go through two websites and check and get them like that. And I'm not keeping it secret, but I just want you to do it because you might find what I haven't found. And if you're gonna just use my textures, you might not spend time collecting yours. I feel like it's not that hard. It's literally on internet. I have scanned my textures, but not a lot of them because I 
don't have a good scanner so yeah just find it like find it on internet google like it's not that hard and you'll understand what you actually want and what you actually like and now let's go to illustrator and take a brush i really like just shapes it doesn't have to be anything and i really don't know illustrator that well so I'm doing the basic things that I know I can do. Now I want to match these together. I don't know how to do <laughs> Maybe I can do it like this, I think. Yeah, I think that matched them. And then just a little bit adjusted. We're going to dancing class with my housemate today, which is very exciting because I always dreamed about dancing and now I'm gonna try it out. And yeah, I'm very, very excited. Also, oh my God, yesterday when I was at the gig, it caught my attention. There was this guy sitting like diagonally from me and on the break, he was on his phone and he was on Snapchat. And then I remember my other coworker who had Snapchat because I don't have one. and. I don't know how it works, but what is super bizarre to me that younger generation use Snapchat and they can see their friends on the map and where they are and that stuff freaks me out. Why would you want anyone to know your exact location? Why? Why? That's it. Like that's literally it what I'm thinking about it, but I don't get it. I don't get it and it scares me because why would anyone want to share their location? 20, I mean, you can turn it off, but uh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm not sure what's happening here. I really like this, but and maybe the picture is not working here. What if I add a little birdies? They look more to the topic. Ooh, I really like that. I want to put a noise blur no not distort and ah distort and ripple ripple makes these looks like ripped then i'm gonna put a texture from texture fabric uh, these are fairy textures most of them some of them at the bottom are not Have you seen that Italy won Eurovision? I know, such a European thing to talk about. What is this? I don't know. My friend told me who won Eurovision and I was a little bit chatter because I was planning to watch it, a recording, because in Australia it likes it. It's a <laughs> fucking English. It's at 5 a.m. So I'm not that dedicated to watch Eurovision at 5 a.m. But I wouldn't have mind to watch it. Yeah, but Italy won. And that's very nice because it was a great song and that guy is pretty hot. Oh my god, another thing that I wanted to talk about when I saw that show and yesterday Murlocs. I love idea of guys wearing makeup and Baker City were doing the music video shoot and the band that I work with and they also were wearing makeup and it's so mad. I love that so much. I don't think everyone can pull it off but some guys can pull it off so well and I'm here to see that because I'm obsessed. It looks so good. Ambrose looked amazing yesterday. Just love feminine guys. So in Pinterest, I have one of my boards, which is Lithuanian fairy tales. Mad inspiration. This is one of my favorite illustrations. Maybe I should try doing something like that. I love it so much. These things so great. I think Lime Cordial, they're doing something similar with their artworks. Kind of similar design. And it's by Louis from Lime Cordial, one of the guys. He does all the artwork, which I think is bloody amazing. Yeah, maybe let's make some more of this. Imagine if I would have a tablet, Vacuum, ta Wacom, Vacuum tablet. That would be so amazing. Eek. I just don't know what I want to do. <whistles> Looks like <laughs> Ah, maybe I should. I don't want to make flowers. They're boring. And I don't know how to draw flowers, really. Beep. 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 
I really like drawing characters and now I realize that that's what everyone does. Just draw characters and character drawing is sick because you just can imagine what they're thinking, what they are. That looks trash, really. Maybe I could um just draw in here. I don't have cool brushes, but that's okay. Maybe we can work out something. I used to draw... Oh my god, maybe I should do that. I used to draw one line. I don't know how will that work. Just like that. Heaps of lines. And I really enjoy it, especially on paper. You just put on music and you draw these little worlds with just one line. And I don't know what they are, but they can be anything you want and they don't have to be perfect. I just like the curves so much. And it's so relaxing. Okay, maybe that's gonna be it. I Let's go back to here and I think I liked it like this and I will leave it like that. I'm not sure what it is, but it's in my magical kind of world. I live in my own fairy tale and want to create the world that I would love to live in. I rated maybe 7 out of 10. 10 for the effort, but it's not something that I usually do, which is new to me, and I accept the fact that I might not be the best at this. I just, I don't even know what it should be, what my expectation is, but it doesn't matter because I am open to experiment and create worlds that don't exist and it not necessarily has to be something that I usually do and the best thing is just practice and with practice I learn things and I might adapt some of those things in my future work with photography that's about it for today I really appreciate you being here and watching my videos and oh my god I'm tired and hungry tired and I want to sleep and I'm feeling a little bit lazy like crazy and yes like this video if you liked it you know it helps me with being discovered and putting my channel out there and subscribe if you'd like to see more of whatever I do so you would not miss out on anything and thank you for watching